nearby, Kate and Emma had just had a shopping trip and were looking forward to a big night out. We've been friends really since school, so um, very, very close and really, I suppose, really like sisters, kind of best friends. It was a short journey and Emma wanted to get ready for the evening in the car, so she hadn't put on her seatbelt. We were quite excited because we were going out on a date that evening. <laughs> we were just chatting away, having a laugh, um, and suddenly I realised that I was sort of on the other side of the road. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> the last thing I could remember was just saying, "Oh my god, we're rolling," and then that was it. <laughs> I felt the roof of the car hit the pavement. Um, as it then bounced up again and turned over again. You kind of think you're going to die initially. You think, God, this is it, you know. And then it just stopped, and I could still hear the music in the background and the car going. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I looked to Emma! my left and I couldn't see her, and I panicked. <laughs> I thought that I I could possibly have just killed my best friend. So. <laughs> got through the window, and crawled out from the car, and just got up and just ran round the front of the car to see if Emma was okay. <laughs> em. Em. Oh my God. It looked where the car landed like it was on her ribs and pushing on her rib cage and I was just concerned really that she'd either punctured a lung or was going to have trouble breathing. I just tried to push the weight of it off her but obviously I just couldn't on my own. I did feel guilty and I just wanted someone to help me to try and relieve her. I just consider myself to be extremely lucky. I mean, I didn't even, I had a couple of cracked ribs, breezing, and I wasn't even in the hospital overnight. And for an accident that severe, for a car to have landed on me and me being thrown out and everything, you know, you'd expect more injuries than that, so yeah, very lucky. I regret not having my seatbelt on. If I had have had my seatbelt on, then I might, well, it wouldn't, I wouldn't have been thrown out and then the car wouldn't have landed on me, but, and that has made me think, you know, now I, do, I wouldn't go anywhere without having my seatbelt on.